Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your August Soul Session. I am Marlo. If you're new and if you're family, welcome back, my friend and what's not all whatever. You know what I'm and if you resonate with this message, be sure to tickle my like button because, you know, she's kinky and into that sort of thing. You know what I'm saying? And of course, okay, the, uh, what is it called? The extended <laughs> for this video. The link to it can be found in the description box below, as well as all of the information on my memberships and things of the sort. And of course, I'm telling you guys about um, the uh, book study club that I'm starting on Sunday, July 31st, where we're going to be looking at the book that altered the course of my life called Conversations with God. So it's like, you know, a deep, you know, study. We're, you know, listening to the audio book and we got exercises and all the good things. But that's open to all of my members, whether it's uh, YouTube members, Patreon members, or those of you who are members of my organization at the network, you know? So add time over. So anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and jump into your cards and see what we're looking at, Scorpio, for the 1st through the 15th of August. The first card out, we have the three of swords and the reverse. Then we have the 10 of the cuppies in the reverse. Then, okay, with the reversals, we have the two of wands in the reverse. Interesting. I can kind of see where this is going. Okay, maybe I should just kind of hold up, hold up on the rest of these cards and just kind of jump in from the first. So what is looking like Scorpio coming out of July and into August? And for some reason, I feel the need to say something about the Leo new moon that was on the 28th. I don't know what, how that would relate to you per se, but my guides are telling me to say it and I'm a good little steward. So, you know, I say it, but coming out of July and into August, it's looking like um, a little bit of recovery to me. You guys could have received an apology from a person who hurt you. If I were to be a hundred percent honest, um, just looking at this 10 of uh, cups in the reverse, and uh, accordance with the three of swords in the reverse coming into August, there's something that's weighing heavy on you guys, minds as well as hearts that really feels to me like some sort of a separation. Um, it could be romantical. I mean, especially with three of swords and 10 of cups, but I mean, it could be any kind of separation. It could literally be, you know, kids going off to college, it could be retiring, it could be, you know, leaving a job that you've been at um, for an extended period of time. But um, whatever the case, it's more or less you guys are on that process of um, healing from this. But I do feel the energy from this particular situation, whatever it is, is coming into the month with you. You feel what I'm saying? So I don't know if the, the day of the Leo new moon has any relevance to that particular thing um, happening. Because this does feel pretty fresh. I don't think in a couple of days you're instantly like, yeah, you know, I'm getting over this type of thing. I don't really feel so much of that vibe. I don't necessarily feel because with the three of swords in the reverse being here, I don't necessarily feel that you guys are um, entrenched in it, if that's making sense. It doesn't feel like, you know, oh, my gosh, I'm hitting rock bottom type of deal. So it's like kind of being in that in between um you know, healing phase, if you will. Now, the thing with this two of wands in the reverse, I do feel that there's a little bit of disillusionment, though, because with whatever this is ending or, you know, kids going off to college, like whatever it is that um, didn't really turn out the way that you had hoped, there is a tad bit of disillusionment with this two of wands in the reverse because it's you're not really sure where like where to go after this per se. So it's kind of like um, being in limbo a tad bit. It's like, and it's similar to kind of like a four of cups kind of energy where it's like, you know, what has transpired like the past, you know, you can't go back to that, right? But you're not really sure how to chart forward. And I feel it's because of you guys being in this kind of limbo phase, you're, you're trying to get uh, your footing, if you will. It's like trying to get back comfortable to um, your new normal, if that's making sense. Now, the next cards that we have is we have the three of coins. So other people are going to be helpful. We have the ace of wands and the reverse. I really feel that this is, this is speaking specifically to me 
of this didn't pan out the way that you hoped. And that's me looking at this 10 of cups in the reverse and the two of wands in the reverse. There's a level of disappointment with this, whether it's like a time frame um, of, you know, how this happened or if it kind of, um, I don't want to say it, that it was forced upon you, but I'm, I'm kind of feeling like, so sorry to interrupt you guys while you're listening to the show, but I wanted to tell you guys about our new partnership with BetterHelp. If you haven't heard of them, it's an online resource in which you can find your very own friendly local neighborhood therapist, no matter where you are in the world. You sign up and within 24 hours, they match you with a therapist that's right for you. And you can talk to your counselor every week via phone or video chat. You can also text them between sessions. If you or someone you know has been considering therapy, get started today with BetterHelp. Now let's get back to the show. I don't know how to say that. It's like I'm seeing it in my mind, but I don't know how to put that into words. It's not that it was like forced upon you, but it just feels like either you didn't expect it to feel this way, to end this way, or to end at this particular time. It's kind of like a, a certain level of awareness that all of this was going to happen. You just didn't know it would happen so soon or that it would feel like this, if that's making sense. And I do feel with this Ace of Wands and the reverse falling under this Ten of Cups, it's almost like a feeling of like, um, and that's why I say it's interesting for me to even pick up on this, of like, you know, like a, a mom whose kids are going back to school or something like that, like they're going back to college or um, I don't know, maybe you switched custody or something. Maybe a school district was better for the kids. Like, say, if you're divorced and it's like the school district that, you know, your ex-wife or ex-husband is in is better. So it's like letting the kids like stay there so they can attend that school district kind of thing. And because this feels like I don't I, I don't know why, because <laughs> there's nothing here that even like, you know, literally in the cards it is intuitively with the Ten of Cups in the reverse and the Ace of Wands in the reverse, it feels very much like a mother kind of energy to me. Like the person who would be listening to me is like a mom, you know? Um, and, you know, no disrespect, daddies, but <laughs> it, it feels like a very feminine mom energy. And it's like, it, and I don't feel it in the sense of like kids being taken away or nothing like that. It's just like, there's something that's going on with the kids where you're, it's almost like your kids were a little more excited than you would have liked them to be. Like if your kids going like off to college is just like, peace out, mom, <laughs> you know, and they're like gone. Or if the kids went to go stay with another parent, it's like, cool, peace out, mom. And it's like, you knew this was going to happen, but you just didn't think it would happen like that. It's like this thought of them being a little more reluctant. But then at the same time, if it's coming off to me specifically for this mother energy that it feels kind of like um, like feeling rejected a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And the next card that we have, OK, is the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Yeah. So here's the thing um, where I say this is a disillusionment. And this is what I'm a forewarning y'all about, Scorpio. Um, because this is like it's these two energies that my guides are pointing out in particular. Um, the three of swords in the reverse, the 10 of cups in the reverse, the ace of wands in the reverse and the 10 of swords. Right. Because, of course, you know, 10 of swords, that is literally. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Ah, oh, my gosh. HIPAA, HIPAA. <laughs> oh, my God. I have an appointment coming and freaking I have Alexa because like, y'all know, I'm like ADD for real in real life. And Alexa, I have her like announce my appointments. And I'm like, don't say the name HIPAA, HIPAA, HIPAA. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and re-listen to this and make sure that y'all did not hear that because I totally like put the thing all the way down. But hopefully y'all didn't hear that. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, um, these two energies here, the 10 of swords, of, of course, speaking to like a rock bottom kind of, um, you know, energy, you know what I'm saying? And like I was saying with this two of wands, it's like, you know, you can't go back to the way that things were. I just feel the way that it transpired. So the forewarning that I'll give to you guys, um, Scorpio, when I said like a disillusionment with this two of wands in the reverse, I feel 
now maybe that's why my guys were saying the whole thing with the new moon so it may have been something that transpired like in that time frame like the latter part of july but i feel you guys are kind of keeping a brave face so it's like coming into the month of august it's like you guys are keeping a brave face and you're like you know i'm gonna get over this like i'm gucci i'm good like you know this didn't quite you know happen the way that i wanted it to like, this isn't the outcome I was necessarily hoping for, but it's more or less coming in that first week, trying to keep a positive mindset and to be like above the fray, if you will. But I feel towards the end part of the first week of August and transitioning into the second week, which is the week of the 15th, we got the 8-8 portal um, on August 8th. And then we also have the uh, Aquarius full moon on the 11th, if I'm not mistaken. Um and that's, of course, like release points, you know, and I mean, just with moons, period, and y'all being a water sign. I know with water signs, the energy just gets real, real heavy and extra during like full moons and stuff like that. So that's why I'm like giving y'all a heads up in reference to this, because I feel you're coming in being positive, And this is almost kind of like a trigger point here with this two of wands of you feeling like this disassociation from yourself and you don't really know how to... um like how to chart forward with this. It's like, I don't really know like how to be okay with this or, you know, it's kind of just feeling incongruent with yourself. You're not feeling on one accord with yourself, but with this three of coins showing up here that says to me that like our secrets keep us sick, right? So I feel what would behoove you guys in the second week of August is to reach out to anybody, friend, family member, best friend, mama, daddy, like whoever, to uh it's like a support system because with my guides pointing out these two cards if that isn't done right you guys could kind of fall into a little bit of a dark place right especially like what i was saying with this ace of wands in the reverse because it's like it's a, a dejected rejected kind of feeling of i was trying to be positive about this and it's kind of looking at the glass half full so it's like seeing the situation for a lot worse than it is so like even if this is a romantic relationship it's just like oh you know that's their loss not mine like yes i did love them i did want to be with them but they're clearly just not the person for me right and then it's like there's no one else to like date and then maybe you might start swiping you know what i'm saying but then you're not meeting anyone of value, right? And then it's like falling into this mental space of like, I thought this was gonna be this whole new beginning for me. And like, oh, what if I never meet someone else? Like, and it's kind of getting into that mindset. You know what I'm saying? So the only premise with this is it's a transition point for you guys. And I feel it would behoove you to utilize all of this wonderful energy that we're gonna have uh, the week of the 15th. Like I said, with the 8 portal, and uh, with the full moon in, um, in Aquarius, it would behoove you to use this energy to like undergird you, to thrust you forward in a more positive way. But your transformation point in order to do that is going to be like your support system or people around you. So the last thing that you want to do in the first two weeks of August is like isolate yourself. You don't want to do that because it's not going to turn out good because you're just going to be in recycled truth and like stuck in your mental space if that's making sense and i hope and pray that that's making sense so that has been your soul session for august my beautiful scorpios i'm going over to my network vimeo patreon all of the places to do you guys extended where we're going to look at the rest of the month and into september so if you're about that life follow me on over there but if not i still love your freaking face and i will see you guys sooner than later my friends you know what i'm saying kiss kiss that's my new thing it's lame but so am i so kiss kiss